I love New York. Ladies and gentlemen, if I look like I'm going into the Arctic tundra, it's because I am. I'm here at JFK and heading into Times Square. I'm so excited. I've seen a couple musicals, Broadway musicals. If you don't know about me, I have 1,500, that's 1,500 Michael Jackson records. We'll put them right here. Thank you, Maddie. Um, I have 1,500 records on vinyl and I just grew up loving performing because I thought Michael Jackson was the best at it. And I'm meeting my friend, Maddie's dad, Brad Sunberg, and Maddie's sister, Amanda Sunberg. Brad worked with Michael on so many albums, Bad, Dangerous, Captain EO, History, Blood on the Dance Floor. He installed the speakers on the train at Neverland in Michael's bedroom in the rides and the trees and the rocks at Neverland. It's amazing. He did the Grammys and the world tours. And we're gonna have dinner at Joe Allen and see MJ the musical tonight. And I'm gonna go see the closing performance of Flying Over Sunset tomorrow at Lincoln Center. Let's go, let's do it. Look, it's me. It's 15, 15 degrees out here. And the mask is sort of lovely. It keeps your whole face warm. Usually you have to get a scarf and wrap it around. It gets all moist. Yeah, I said moist scarf. It's gross. Nobody wants a moist scarf. So I got this mask that I can just throw away. Um, oh, where'd they go? My jacket. I need to button my jacket up. Okay, I'm gonna take the train and get into my hotel. A couple friends were like, I would invite you to stay, but you know, and I was like, yeah, I live in Florida. I've taken a negative test and uh, put my photo right here. Thank you, Maddie. And um, I'm ready to have fun. Let's do it. On to the E train. Jay Z, you could do a good album. Yo, 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 with Jay Z. Yeah, when I say it's cold, I mean it is cold. Okay, um, I'm over here by Port Authority. Lindsay and I sort of call this couple blocks the armpit of Hell's Kitchen. It's really on the edge of the garment district. But we are Hilton Diamond members and I have a free night at the Doubletree here. It's actually a nice hotel. We had our first preview party for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory here. But it was only 40,000 points and the Hampton Inn next to MJ the Musical was 74,000 points. So I'm gonna stay at the Doubletree and get a free chocolate chip cookie. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me see if they'll let me check in early. And uh, it's noon, I might be able to see a show this afternoon. <laughs> Exciting. Oh. Okay, there's a sign. I must be getting close. There's Port Authority bus station. That's like where you take the Greyhound to, you know, Pittsburgh or, you know, New Jersey. Okay, here we go. Here's the double tree. Lovely. All right, hey, I'm here in my room. Um, it's a very New York. <laughs> room it's small but it's all i need it's just me um this is lovely i can see some new york ittiness over there not bad i mean you can't complain for forty thousand points and zero dollars um this will be just perfect for me king size bed lindsay's favorite i wish that uh lindsay and georgia were here um cool shower so anyway this is great i can now take a shower and shave and get clean and uh, I might go see a matinee, if there's time. Should I go to TKTS? We'll see, anyway, let's go. Okay, wait, you gotta give the Doubletree a shout out for the Doubletree cookie. They got the chocolate chip cookie, it's actually warm. And you gotta, you gotta try, look at this. They're like, are you allergic to chocolate or walnut? And I'm like, no, no, I'm not. Mmm, free lunch. Okay, I'm gonna run up to the MJ box office. I don't need my mask on. It's just so warm under there. I'm gonna run up to the MJ box office and get my tickets and then see if I can see a matinee of something because it's only 106 and I'm crazy like that. I might pull it up. <laughs> Let's do it, here we are, 42nd and eight. Of course, here's Wicked here, where Lindsay did the show for like 15 years. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up my tickets and then see if I can see a matinee. Let's see what we can do. You'd think I wasn't an actor or something, duh. It's two o'clock. Everybody's picking up their tickets for the show right now. I'm not gonna be able to pick up my tickets for tonight for another 30 minutes. Let's see if we can get a ticket for something. Go see something else. Here we go. 
for those of you just joining us, I did Jersey Boys for eight years and it's set show that's like that bunny on TV with the battery, it just keeps going and going and going. Wish I could stop by and see my boys, but this is so fast. This trip is so quick. Um, I'm down here at the Atlantic Theater Company. I've just gotten a cheap ticket for Atlantic Theater Company's production of the brand new musical, Kimberly Akimbo. It closes in like two days. And that's uh, by Janine Tesori, Lindsay's favorite Broadway composer. Um, her favorite musical is Violet, but of course she wrote Carolina Change and Fun Home and Thoroughly Modern Millie and Shrek. And for the Disney fans, she wrote Mulan 2 music, uh, Georgia Loves. I wanna be like other girls. Anyway, Janine Tesori is amazing and I can't wait to see this musical. Uh, Victoria, look at all the city bikes. A great, look at my breath. <gasps> it's so cold. A great way to sit, get around the city is take a city bike. But I won't be doing that today. My hands would freeze. Anyway, um, Victoria Clark, who of course won a Tony Award for Light in the Piazza, stars in this. And I think, I think she like ages in reverse. I think, or she's aging really quick or something. Like she's only a kid, but she's like 65. Anyway, it's gonna be bonkers. I can't wait. So this is off Broadway and this is the theater where uh, Spring Awakening originally started. And I saw it twice for $10 with my buddy, Jonathan Groff. Ooh, can we also put a picture of Lindsay and Janine Tesori right here? I love it. Okay, it's in this church. And let me tell you, seeing uh, this former church is now a theater, seeing, um, Spring Awakening here in this church was so cool. It's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go show my vaccine and uh, get in here. Let's do it. Okay, Kimberly Akimbo. What can I say about this? So this show, Janine Tesori doesn't write, you know, just commercial shows to sell tons of tickets. She writes challenging stuff. The most commercial thing she's written, I guess, is uh, Shrek, but that's not her best musical. Her best musicals are like Violet, about a girl with an ax scar across her face that someone falls in love with. Or uh, Fun Home, about a kid growing up in a funeral home and finding out that her dad is the reason that her childhood was all messed up. Um, this is about a woman with a disease that makes her age four years for every one year. So she's 16 years old, but she looks like she's whatever, 60. And uh, so she knows that she's gonna die soon and all of her friends are 16. So Victoria Clark, amazing performance. Makes you laugh, makes you cry. Our friend Ali Mozzi is hilarious as this pregnant mom who's sort of a terrible mom, um, yelling at her baby at her stomach like, stop kicking, you little crap. Anyway, um, Totally weird musical, totally funny, totally sad, totally inspiring, um, challenging musical theater, which is what I love. Uh, I think it could, you know, it could it could have a commercial run just like Fun Home did. Um, and Fun Home won Best Musical, didn't it? Anyway, uh, I'm excited. I'm going back in the Double Tree. I'm gonna uh, try and fix my hair so I'm not wearing a hat and Joe Allen and in a Broadway show tonight because uh, I got uh, airplane head. And um, I'm excited to see Brad and Amanda. Let's go. Okay, my hair is looking cute. I'm ready to go to dinner. And this is the test I took this morning, Flowflex. They were $10 at a, a CVS Southwest of Animal Kingdom. Can't believe I live at Disney World. But uh, this is a great way to travel and be safe so that I can go have dinner with my friends tonight. Uh, Brad had COVID three weeks ago, so... Um, Brad's immune for a month or two, or so we think. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Okay, guess what? I'm picking up my tickets. I'm so excited. Now this is 52nd Street where MJ the Musical is playing. This is my street, man. This is where I lived in that building. I did Jersey Boys for eight years and five of them were up in the top dressing room up there. I was a swing and boy, it's cold. But I mean, come on. That's where I lived right there, the August Wilson Theater. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my uh, tickets and then go to dinner. Let's do it. Okay, I am Okay, I am so excited to see Brad and Amanda Sunberg. Our editor Maddie Sunberg. This is Maddie's dad and older sister Amanda that lives here in Brooklyn. And uh, Brad of course worked with Michael on a few albums and uh, so I was like, "Brad, 
you want to go? And he was like, yeah. And so, um, of course, we got to go to Joe Allen's, my favorite. They've never been. So let's do it. Whoa. All right. Joe Allen it is, baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the corner COVID safe table with my Joe Allen burger and my special guest. It's Brad. And it's I have a Joe Allen burger also. Oh, yes. And a it's triangular awesome. glass of water over there. It's delicious. <laughs> Suspect. And Amanda here got the duck. Hey, Amanda. Yeah. It's delicious. delicious. They, they must have had a special on pomegranate. The, the guacamole, which was very good, had pomegranates. But um, we're ready for the show. It's very exciting. Well, we're almost ready. I've got them. Look at what Bob has brought us. Oh, what a night, indeed. We, we're, this is like really stylish. A little caffeine and a little after dinner. Thank you. Brad, thank you, Braddy Daddy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Here's to you guys and MJ, the musical. We will scroll through. These are the best. Lindsay did that one. And the vent. <laughs> Classic Joe Allen. Okay. What's the review of Joe Allen for the Sunbergs? Classic, right? Don't you feel like a local now? Yes. Delicious. I mean, Excellent. you've been upstairs, right, Amanda? But, uh, <laughs> like locals. Now let's go Shimon. Let's right? go. That's it. Let's do it. Let's head. Oh, yeah. Okay. Amanda, Brad, I have a question for you. Yes. This is a hard question. Favorite Michael Jackson song, go. Purple Rain. Amanda, how dare you? Mine is human nature every time. I know it's in the show, so thank goodness. It's hard to pick. What would you say, Brad? I'll, I'll go with Stranger. Stranger, Stranger Moscow. Moscow, okay. I still go with human. human nature, it's good. Okay. So, uh, Brad, we're going to put a, Brad, a picture of Brad and Michael here together and we're going to put a picture of Amanda, baby Amanda baby with Michael Amanda. right here and then a picture of baby Amanda on stage with Michael. Look at her in the overalls and the pink shirt. Can you believe that? So I brought the right people tonight. We'll it's going to be fun. We'll give you a full review. I can't wait. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. In the middle. Awesome. Excellent, thank you. Okay, we just saw MJ the musical. We have so many thoughts. It was joyous. It's I a, think it's, it's a lot to unpack. It's a lot of love. It's uh, sad and hilarious and awesome, and you feel it. Most importantly, yeah, the, it the, is. The it is, is loud and it jams. The cast is amazing, and I am so relieved that I don't have to play Michael Jackson on Broadway. There imagine. are three Michael Jacksons, and oh my gosh, uh, it's amazing. I think I have to see it again to uh, like understand it all. It's amazing, and. Uh, I think Smooth Criminal is my favorite, so uh, you gotta go see it. Check it out. Go see it. And the Neil Simon Theater. Okay, this is crazy. This is the first time in 15 years. It's the first time in 15 years I've walked past Wicked and Lindsay's not coming out of the stage door. I miss Lindsay. I miss Georgia. 
Um, MJ really was awesome. I can't wait to put down my thoughts. Uh, but I really can't think of a song that they missed. I mean, obviously they missed a ton, but there's no way to sing them all. But it was great. My friend John was great. Callie was great. The MJs are awesome. Um, wow, I do not envy them. That is a hard job. Major dance show. Major vocal show. It's so cold. Um, I need some earmuffs. Uh, can't wait to go see Flying Over Sunset tomorrow. I'm here at the Times Square Church. This is where My Fair Lady played in 1956. Isn't that crazy? It's not a theater anymore. G Scratch Superstar played here. The Mark Ellinger Theater. History. History it is. Ooh, look. I wish I had time to see the Music Man with Hugh Jackman and Sutton Foster. Maybe later. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my hotel and get on some warm pajamas. Um, ooh, trivia, are you ready for this? Brad Sundberg told me this. Um, Michael Jackson's favorite meal at McDonald's, are you ready? A double filet of fish, a double filet of fish. And listen, I never ate a filet of fish as a kid. Brad told me that, it's good, it is good. Get the double filet of fish. Dare you, double dog dare you. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here is a triple right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm the bigger player, certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are gold. Help me cultivate a horse sense with a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try and give an ironclad lead to yourself in a three-rail billiard shot? Now, just as I say, it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a balk line game. I say that any boob can take and shove a ball in a pocket. Oh, I just ran into my friend Jessica Rush who is in Tina. She was in Jersey Boys with me and John. You know, I, I'm out here, I don't have to wear my mask, but man, it is so much warmer wearing my mask. Ooh, I love walking through Times Square even when it's 15 degrees. Amazing. I'm ready to get back to my hotel room and get warm. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to see Flying Over Sunset that my friend Pulitzer Prize winner Tom Kitt wrote. And, uh, and then I'm gonna try and get home before the snowstorm comes. It's supposed to rain. I mean, it's supposed to start snowing at seven tomorrow. And uh, my flight's at eight, so I hope we can get out. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Let's fast forward to the morning. All right, I am awake. I had coffee. Um, I'm strolling past the Al Hirschfeld Theater. I used to live right here on this block at the Whitby. And I love, I love it here. I'm going to see my friend Paul Ford for breakfast and my friend Jim Phillips for lunch. And then I'm going to see Flying Over Sunset at three o'clock. I'm rolling my bag like a tourist and my mask because I have a flight tonight at eight. A flight tonight at eight. Bum, 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 bum. That's from uh, She Loves Me, 1962. Anyway, um, it is gonna snow tonight, about an inch, then turn to rain. So I hope it doesn't mess up my flight. But uh, this has been an awesome trip. I also just did a negative COVID test. Bing! And, uh, you know, so I'm, I know that I'm not spreading this thing. Yay! All right, look, I'm on the bus. It's really like going to Magic Kingdom, right? I got a little coffee. I saw my friend Paul. And now I'm going to see my friend Jim. And then the show. Free transfer. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, me and Jim look warm, don't we? We're going to see Flying Over Sunset and Intimate Apparel starring Shorter Colleges, long. Pride and Joy. Indra Thomas. Indra Thomas. I wish I was seeing Intimate Apparel, but I've got an eight o'clock flight. The question is, are they gonna let me check this bag? I mean, we'll see, probably not. Probably not. Can I put it under my seat? Is, is this like an airplane? Seat? <laughs> we'll see. As a child thank you, seat? thank you for that amazing brunch. <laughs> All right. So I love a day like this because this is the final performance of Tom Kitt's show on Broadway. This will be a guaranteed excellent audience, lots of friends and family at the historic Lincoln Center. There's so many amazing shows up there. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Sunset. 
Okay, so flying over sunset was gorgeous and weird and trippy and beautiful and funny and sad. Um, definitely not the most commercial of shows, but I'm so glad I saw it. I love being at Lincoln Center. And now it's time to head to the airport. Here we go. All right, thanks for joining me for this Broadway, Broadway Bradshaw's trip. And uh, I'm gonna head back to see Georgia and Lindsay. Remember, go see a Broadway show because uh, Broadway is struggling right now to fill those seats. And let me tell you, flights are cheap. Broadway tickets, there are lots of discounts and they're cheap right now. And uh, I'll see you real soon. And remember, if you like our vibe, you should subscribe. <laughs>